you. So Baton Rouge police detectives are trying to figure out if someone purposely tried to shoot at a church over the weekend. Our Brian Bazette has the latest details on exactly what happened in this one, Bree. So VRPD says no one was hurt in this shooting, but right now they cannot tell whether this shooting was a random attack or, attack or targeted. We spoke with some workers and local owners of business, the business owners by the church, and they say after last night's shooting, they are concerned. I don't know why they're doing it. You know, definitely nobody wants to see things like that. For the past 13 years, Talk Wynn has been doing hair in the Baton Rouge area. He recently moved his business, Bella's Hair Salon, to Tamari Street, hoping to get away from crime. I felt pretty comfortable moving here for the last six years, but, you know, just bring back some of that scary, a little bit scary feeling. That scary feeling was amplified for Wynn last night. Baton Rouge police responded around 9 o'clock to a shooting near this church on Tamari Street. That's just across from Wynn's business. For business owners like Wynn, criminal activity close to his shop is worrisome. Bring, bring, bring him back the feeling I had down the street, you know, a little bit more, you know, people activity happen down there. Baton Rouge police say they are looking for one individual. Through the course of our investigation and after speaking to members at the church, from what they observed, there was an individual in a dark colored vehicle um, they noticed was passing by shooting in the air. And that person then uh, turned the gun on the church and fired one shot at the church striking the building. BRPD says the shooting happened during a church service. More than 50 people were inside when the shots were fired, but luckily no one was hurt. Black guys are canvassing the area in the daylight hours. Uh, the shooting happened last night, so uh, everything that was out there that may possibly be beneficial to our investigation wouldn't be seen. So that's why they're doing a canvas of the area today in hopes of getting some uh, information. Now, if you know anything that could possibly help police in their investigation, they are asking you to go ahead and call Crime Stoppers at 344-STOP. Greg? All right, Bree, thank you for that. So police in St. Gabriel.